we're delighted with the acquisition of this building here in the heart of Ballinasloe. But these kind of things don't happen overnight. This has been the result of hard work and prudent management over the last 20 years. Uh, we have the Enterprise Centre out in Parkmore in Korea, 27,000 square, square feet, absolutely full. This will add 6,000 square feet to, to our portfolio and is available for rent. Any inquiries are welcome at the moment. Um, we have borrowed funding to buy the building and thankfully we've been sanctioned money through the Just Transition Fund to develop the building over the course of the next 12 months. So by this time next year we're going to have a fully modern and equipped building right in the heart of Ballinasloe. What we'll be looking forward to now is for the government agencies to come together and further develop the town here. A lot of money has been sanctioned, we need them all to sit down around the table and work together. The Just Transition Fund, um, the uh, Hidden Heartlands Fund, they, they announced their plan there recently. A lot of money in that fund to come towards Ballinasloe. Uh, we're talking about um, the Board of Works, 8.6 million sanctions to develop around the river. The new town school is to be built and in conjunction with that Galway County Council will be developing the rear of Main Street and Society Street. Waterways, Waterways Ireland have also a part in it because we have a arena here in Badenestow which people forget about. So there's a lot of people need to put their heads together within various departments in government and cost efficiently do a lot for the town here and we're part of that. This is our first step. Hopefully this time next year we'll be talking to you about buying another building in town and creating more jobs in Badenestow. I think this is a, mon a momentous opportunity for BACD and uh, the acquisition of this building will uh, facilitate remote working in Banislaw town and I think it's very very important in the context of uh, you know the pandemic and all the stuff that has happened people are more and more working remotely and I think a lot of people have realized now it's not such a good idea to work to be all the time working from home in a family situation and I think it will give the opportunity to bring 35 more people and possibly uh, 35 more families uh, benefit in the Banislaw area that they can uh, come here and work remotely from here and uh, spend their money in the local economy and I'm very proud to have represented Galway County Council uh, on the uh, BACD on the board of BACD in recent times and I think it's very very important going forward now that there is a, a Galway County Council invest further in the the road to the back of here it's from the back of uh, Galan's Hotel coming up to here uh, that's one of the next uh, developments here marked for uh, Galway County Council and I think in the context that this year is the is the uh, doing of the county the redoing of the county development plan and as uh, chairman of the uh, of the planning SPC I'll, I'll be adamant that uh, Badness Law uh, gets its uh, gets it, it, it's, its due reward in terms of, I think that in terms of uh, Bandus Law, I've always said since I started to represent Bandus Law, that Bandus Law should be an area of uh, designated an area of unlimited growth and I think uh, it's up to Galway County Council now and all the agencies to support this and I mean heretofore before the Just, Just Transition Fund came on board, we all know people in this area and in all our own small areas and parishes that work for Board of Mona and I think you know the, the loss of Board of Mona and the loss of that employment to this part of the country, I think, is, has, hasn't yet come home to roost. And I think that more money must have must come also from the Just Transition Fund and Galway County Council must be to the fore in helping to, to fund wherever possible and to plan with, with the BACD to fast-track as many developments as possible for the Bandislaw area.